I was dubbed with the singular distinction of being an international quintessential cooper. Well, that word really came out of the blue for me. I was working as a healer. I had been a movement therapist and helped women, mostly women, get to the source of their negative feelings about themselves and how these feelings showed up in their interactions and particularly sexually. This was wrong and that was wrong and how do I hate this and how do I hate that and I counseled them about having a sense of your inner beauty which I certainly deeply believe we all have. It's a question of locating it, nurturing it, and honoring it and sharing it. Well, that word sharing was how I got into, I guess you can call it trouble. When I got divorced 25 years ago, my dream was that I would meet another man, get married again, and just like start all over again. So what I thought would be a great idea was to subtract the 25 years of my marriage. I was 50 or so at the time, and then I'd be 25, and what age guy is good for a 25-year-old liberal that I am? I bumped it up to 35. And for over 20 years, I have been dating very young men and sleeping with very young men, and I will caution, always with condoms. You just never know what's out there and what's out there you don't want in here. So, you can still be sexual and vital and all those things. Well, in the course of my work as a healer, I'd be interviewed by TV programs and they weren't interested that I worked holistically or that I ate organic food or that I exercised or that I worked deeply on people's psychological and physical traumas. No, that wasn't interesting. However, when they got wind of the fact that I was sleeping with young guys, uh -huh, a freshly baked celebrity as a cougar. So I want to tell you though, I certainly feel excited about the idea of receiving actually international publicity. Being a cougar, that's a word. Cherishing your being and sharing that respect for your beauty, your sexuality, your integrity, I never had an affair. So, I am once again concentrating on a subject, a topic, a way of life that's closest to my heart and soul. And that's what's commonly termed anti-aging. What I prefer to think of is exquisite aging. But it's okay, it's anti the way we've been thinking about aging. And having people understand with me as an inspiration, what a gift, what a privilege for me to inspire people all over the world to cherish themselves through time. Anti-aging, fine. Young forever, delicious. <laughs>